Hey guys, so today in this video, we're gonna be doing this simple little look. It's just a couple different eyeliners and a tiny bit of uh, eyeshadow through the crease. And this is going to be representing the spring and summer trend of free party. It's just kind of something more light and airy and not quite as heavy on the eyes. So this one's going to be doing this simple little look. I hope that you all are enjoying this series that I'm trying to put together. And if you like the way that my skin looks in this video, I already have a video out for that. And the link will be in the description bar below. I hope that you all enjoy this and I will see you very soon. Bye. Okay, so for the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Smashbox 24 hour primer and we're just going to throw this across the entire eyelid all the way up to the brow. We're not doing anything that's too heavy on the eyeshadow, but it is always good to know that your eyeshadow is not gonna crease halfway through the day. So we're just going to pop this on and let it kind of set for a couple seconds. So for this look, it's going to be the makeup trend called Free Party. It's also going to be something that's kind of, you know, relaxed almost. It's not gonna be your full like crazy eyeshadow look. For me, this is one of my favorite ones that stands out to me. This trend is, it's like um, two different liners in the uh, waterline and then just like a very simple crease. This was inspired by like the Holly Fulton collection. I guess it would be the Holly Fulton runway show for spring, summer 2015. So this is just one of the looks that you could do for like the free party uh, idea of makeup. Um, but there's tons of other things that you can do as well. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take a chromographic pencil. And this one is in high def cyan and we're going to be placing this through the waterline. So we're just going to place this through the waterline and then we're going to bring it up and around in the outer row, well, the inner corner. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the chromographic pencil in white. If you don't wanna use the chromographic pencil, there's tons of other options for this. You can use Fascinating or something from like Urban Decay. And you're gonna go from the outer corner and you're gonna work back in. And then you're going to blend the two colors together. Right in the center of the eye. Super cool, right? In the version at uh, Fashion Week, it was pretty much this and then just like a very simple cut crease. Um, we're gonna do the same cut crease, but then we're gonna bring the liner up and around on top as well. We'll take a 224, which you know, it's my fave. Just a big old fluffy 224. And we're also going to take, let's take Omega, which is gonna be this color here. Omega is gonna be nice and cool toned. And all we're going to do is we're going to pop this lightly through the crease. So to give this just a tiny bit more pop and a little bit more of a longevity to this makeup, we're gonna take a angled brush, 208. Tiny little angled brush, technically a brow brush. And we're gonna take a tiny bit of electric eel. An electric eel is going to be a very bright blue shadow. Pretty much the same exact color as the eyeliner. And we're going to just lightly press this electric eel into the blue. And after you set the blue area with the shadow, I just want to take the brush and just lightly pull the product out until it fades away to nothing. So it just kind of looks intense and then it just kind of like whispers out into like the idea of the continuation of the lining. The final step is gonna be a tiny bit of mascara and the mascara of my choice, especially for this look, cause it's nothing crazy, it's nothing over the top. We're gonna to do the Extended Play Mascara from MAC. And that's gonna be just endlessly black. So it's not the blackest black, but it's pretty black. And just a tiny little coat of this. Through the lashes. 
this is too much for you, if you feel like the blue is just a little bit too intense, what I would recommend is to do two different colors. So what you could do is you could do like a purple to a white, or you could do like a purple to a gold, or anything that feels a little bit more comfortable to you. But I just really like the idea of having this nice pop of color on my eyes, and it's just something that's like, it's there and it looks like you've spent more time on your makeup than you really have. And it's just something fun to actually be wearing a trend. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. That would be fantastic to me. I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll have a good rest of my day and I will see all of you again next week. All right, bye. That's the thing. So there's what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of like if you took soft and gentle, you're not even gonna see it, soft and gentle, and then you mixed in lightscape, and then you milled it down even more.